Now, don't believe Sharma is a cousin. She's not half as nerdy as Sharma right now. Uh, so, the point is, Excuse me. we are going to be in the industry. What a lot of questions. Yeah. So, and right now, we are stuck in this entire lot of So, the, how to bring the industry to the chemical to the first thing? Now, this guy is a deep thinker. Yeah. The thing is that, um, think different. That's our motto, right? That's what this is all about. So how do you think different? Before thinking different doesn't happen in isolation. Before that magic state of thinking different is reached, there's something which happens before. It kind of looks like this. See, this is the first data. So, newspaper first. An article in chemical data. That's data. You collect salt and compile data and it becomes information, trends, patterns. Where is that data going to? What's happening? You get those patterns together, get the information together, and you have knowledge. Knowledge is when you get a feel of the system, when you get an intuition of what's going to happen in the system, when you can see the code. And when you can see the code and hack it, that's what the difference is about. So, when you see that, at the bottom of the pyramid is data, sorted and compiled, it becomes information, you put that together, it becomes knowledge, and you play that sort of knowledge until you reach that stage of indifference. So what I'm going to talk about is how there's a certain barrier which you need to overcome before you go from data to information. And right now that's the, that's the bottom line, that's what's stopping us. All right? So I'm going to talk about how to overcome that barrier. All right? Here's the sentence. On January 5th, China unveiled its first step data. An isolated event. Something you read in the newspaper, okay, once you read the line, that's all it has, to, it has to tell you. The next statement, since the past five years, Chinese foreign policy has become more aggressive. Now, to go from statement 1 to statement 2, there's something we need to do. We need, we need more of those statement 1s, more of those individual events. We need to understand the link between them, see where they are going, and only then can you possibly do something like foreign policy or a piece of information, a trend. Right? And the point is that right now, it's freaking difficult. There's too much data, there's, it's in a mess, it's an average to understand, you just can't spot the links at first, so you're stuck. But the key is he who actually goes forward and wants to get that information out. So what I'm proposing is, uh, here's something which I did for another school, for an and test I actually read the newspaper every day and I uploaded one piece of information, one piece of, uh, one of the news files which I read about global press. I selected which one I would upload. I simplified the language, put it up on the net, it was a blog, and I shared it. So, select, simplify, share. You select what you want. You select one piece of, say, one news pipe. You are eliminating the problem of too much information. And you simplify it, you are eliminating the problem of too complicated information. And when you share it, you've got more minds to the mind. So, it's more, it's better, right? And that blog which I did on the Google Affair, that was an individual effort. So, right here, I'm thinking that, say, a few friends of mine from class can come together put forth a web platform where we can discuss, um, where we can provide trends in the capital industry. So the target would be, say, first years in my title, but it's actually anyone who wants to be in on the industry, who wants to be in on the trends that are taking place in the industry. Right? So you're probably asking, why can't you just go to the library and read a book or something? Um, so you know, I ask you, how many of you would go to the library and take a book for quantum engineering, electrodynamics, or something like that, read it through it? Or rather, you can go to Facebook, read a five minute article which your friend wrote in language which you know you understand, and you know, get enlightened um, from that. So, and by putting this up on Ignite Artifact to be open source data, you are not a computer nerd that the joke is lost on you. You can have lots of add ons. <laughs> And supposing I started now, I started that platform now, I'm going third year, pass the fourth year. What I do is I give the reins of this platform to the incoming third year. So it doesn't have to die. The project doesn't have to die in two years. It can go on. All right? It can become an ICT thing. And we all know at least one brand which began as an intra college project. Right? So the point is this is the internet. You manage something well, you you manage something well and you do it well and you can have massive leadership. It doesn't need to be limited to a to one place. And it's important because, say, if we ever have to ask the question, if you will, like, what's going to be the face of this sector 20 years from now? What innovation does this area of, chemical, of the chemical industry require? What's the next big thing which, which we need to do here? Such, such stuff will help. 
and I'm serious as in, I'm going to do it. I really am going to do it. I saw my club something because even they are going to do it. So let's see where it goes, right? And that's all. Thank you. Thank you.